All right guys, time for the Justice League. Get ready for all the facts. I'm Sasha Wood and these are the top 10 facts about the Justice League. The Justice League is essentially the Silver Age reintroduction of the Justice Society, right down to the inclusion of the revamped versions of The Flash and Green Lantern. The team's name was changed from Society to League because the then DC editor Julius Swartz really liked baseball and felt the league term present in those names, i.e. the American League and the Major League was more relatable and would add to the magazine's success. So Society, which he felt sounded snooty, became The League. More changes at number 9. While the Justice League satellite is now one of the staples of the group, and people are often more surprised to learn they used to operate out of Happy Harbor, it actually wasn't introduced until Justice League of America number 78 in 1970, a full 10 years after the team's first appearance, which in terms of comic years might as well be 100. Number 8. The team was the star of the show The Super Friends, and there are different explanations for why the name was changed from the Justice League. Some say it's because the Hanna-Barbera studio felt it sounded too aggressive for the kid-friendly tone they intended to foster. But other sources say it was because the company felt the name sounded too patriotic in light of the Vietnam War. However, in the show itself, the team do refer to themselves as the Justice League, as well as the Super Friends. And the show actually underwent several name changes for the time that it was on the air. They were also called the All New Super Friends Hour, The World's Greatest Super Friends, Super Friends The Legendary Super Power Show, and more. The show was actually really successful, and it's still lovingly mocked to this day, just like Spider-Man. Number 7. There have been many different iterations of the team, who exist in either different locations, time periods, or tackle different threats. Such as Justice League Dark, which deals with magical threats, Justice League Europe, which, well, self-explanatory, Justice League International, which operates with UN authority, and Justice League 3000, in the future. You get the idea, it's a very moldable concept and you can pretty much customize the roster how you like. It's one of the reasons the team has and will continue to endure. More about the first team, well, the second, in at number 6. While the initial lineup for the Justice League consisted of Superman, Batman, Aquaman, The Flash, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, and Wonder Woman, Superman and Batman weren't actually featured very often. Instead, the focus was placed on their solo series, and the two were rarely even featured on the covers. Which is actually probably for the best, at least no one could accuse them of false advertising. Number 5. Aquaman was chosen to lead a hip new relaunch of the team that moved them to Detroit. This decision was made so they could capitalize on younger, hipper heroes. So after the previous team doesn't stop an alien invasion, Aquaman says only people who can be on the league full time are allowed, and he revamps the roster. This new roster includes Zatanna, the Martian Manhunter, the Elongated Man, Vixen, and three hip young teens, Gypsy, Vibe, and Steel. The end of this team was really depressing and saw the deaths of two members, Vibe and Steel, and that causes three of the other team members to resign. More Aquaman at number 4. The first animated appearance of the Justice League was in the 1967 animated series The Superman slash Aquaman Hour of Adventure, although the team only appears in three episodes of the show's 36 episode run. And yes, this means there was a time where the first choice over other superheroes would be Aquaman. Deal with it. He's actually a very powerful hero. He can't help but if his costume is silly and occasionally his animation was awkward. He's just easy to make fun of, but he's actually a really useful hero. Number 3. The team used to have a teenage mascot named Lucas Carr, who went by the nickname Snapper, because he snapped his fingers all the time. Lucas brought all the coolness, or what the writers thought was coolness, that the 60s had to offer. He spoke in a beatnik dialect and actually helped the team defeat Starro, so basically he was a Gary Stu. He was an honorary member of the team, but fans hated him, and he was ultimately written out after he accidentally betrayed the location of the team's base to the Joker. Seriously, no matter the era, it's never a good idea to create a character who seems cool based on the standards of that time. They will become dated so fast. A fantastic fact at number 2. The Justice League was responsible for the birth of the Fantastic Four, because Marvel was motivated by seeing how well the Justice League books were selling. This prompted Martin Goodman of Marvel to remark to Stan Lee in 1961 that he should come up with a team of superheroes for Marvel. However, Lee decided to make his own kind of team, which was the Fantastic Four, who debuted in November of 1961. 
and that book actually became a huge success for Marvel. And our number one Justice League fact? There was an attempt made at a live action Justice League of America series in the late 90s. And the pilot still exists, and you can still go watch it, and oh it is so terrible and glorious. The pilot episode is 86 minutes and is shot in a semi-documentary format, with the characters having asides to the camera in separate locations. Think one of those early 90s reality shows. The team was made up of Guy Gardner, Ice, The Atom, Fire, The Flash, and The Martian Manhunter. And well, in terms of his makeup, they tried. It would have been very campy had it happened. And thankfully, just a few years later, we were graced with the much better Justice League and Justice League Unlimited animated series. So those were the top 10 facts about the Justice League, or the Just Us League as detractors like to call it. A cool team with a cool history. I'm Sasha Wood, thanks so much for watching Top 10 Nerd. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you never miss another nerdy list. See you guys.